That's Christopher Consolis. He's a professor of extragalactic astronomy at the University of Manchester in the UK. Uh, professor Consolis, thanks for being with us here on the News Hour. Now, all of this sounds pretty fanciful, futuristic, maybe fantastic. Just how likely is it to happen? It's pretty likely. We are definitely going into space. Many countries are interested in it. There's a, a an increase in interest in going to the moon, going into Mars, obviously, from the latest news we've heard in the last few weeks. And the space station around the moon is, is the next obvious step. And so China and Russia are now agreeing to establish one, and I'm pretty sure that it will happen. And how long it will happen is another question, but it will, it will definitely happen, I would say. And the interesting thing about this, of course, is what that space station around the moon will be used for. There's reporting this morning that it's going to be a research facility, but I think the worry among many is that it will be militarized. What's your thought on that? I hope not, but that's certainly a possibility. Of course, you have two countries that are, that are participating in it that traditionally haven't been, say, closely uh, aligned militarily, so maybe maybe it is going to be a research station. But the moon is seen by many people, including myself, as a launching point for going to Mars and other more distant places in our own solar system and even perhaps beyond, and it's, it is the, the next step. And so, so whether or not it'll be militarized is something that we'll have to wait and see, but that's something that's more likely to happen, I think, when individual countries are establishing stations on, on the moon. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, there is a, a possibility that with this, the establishment of this base, wherever it is, whether it's on the moon or in orbit of the moon, that there is this kind of democratization of space. Of course, you'll know about the Artemis Accords signed by NASA and other countries. Uh, Russia and China aren't part of that. But there is a possibility there that everyone on planet Earth works together to get further into outer space, isn't there? That, that would be the ideal. That would be what I would like to see happen. And eventually, hopefully, that is what will happen. And one of the main reasons for that will be just financial and the fact that it is so expensive to do anything in space that countries will really have to to cooperate and to uh, to agree to, to have a peaceful use of space that can be a benefit of all mankind rather than have individual nations um, take the lead in, in doing certain things. So that's, that's the hope, is that it will be a, a, a very international approach to doing science and exploration. Absolutely. Let's hope that's the way it Absolutely. plays out. Okay, okay. Professor Consolis from the University of Manchester, thank you very much for being with us.